Give me just a second here, gonna run to my channel, make sure everything's up and running. Give me just a second here, gonna run to my channel. Alrighty. So, what's up? I uh, got a new series starting here. Uh, we're gonna be rebuilding the 2015 Browns. Um, they were absolute dog water. Uh, real quick, I, I've not even looked at the roster. I, I only know a few players on this team. Um, for example, by the way, it's going to be all Madden 4-minute quarters just to make the, the games go by quicker. Uh, that's not what I want. Is it under sliders? Um, no. I'm trying to turn the audio down a little bit. Um, Luke settings, that's not it. Where are we? How does one turn down the... I just, I just want to turn down the damn audio, please. All right. Well, it doesn't look like I could do that. So hopefully you can hear me decently enough. Uh, let's see. Can you hear me decently enough? Uh, let's see. Can you hear me decently enough? Yeah, you can. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the roster. I simmed through the preseason, not really worried about it. Not the first preseason. Uh, let's go ahead and go look at roster. Uh, I know we're gonna have Joe Thomas, who's hurt. Uh, well, that's not good. The fuck is wrong with him? Um, well, shit. I don't know if he was hurt already starting the season. Oh, uh, we got Brian Hoyer as our starting quarterback. Uh, Johnny Football is our backup. He's a rookie. And then we have Tyler Thigpen. It's our third stringer. Um, all right. Not exactly the best, you know, set of quarterbacks there. Uh, running backs, we're going to have Ben Tate, who is also hurt. Dion Lewis. I'm actually kind of excited about that. And Isaiah Crowell. That'll be a nice little, little backfield right there. Uh, receivers, we're looking at Josh Gordon. I'm definitely okay with that. Miles Austin, eh. Andrew Hawkins, eh. Nate Burleson, eh. And Travis Benjamin, I like that too. And these guys right here are just kind of not going to do it too well. Uh, Jordan Cameron, all right, I like that. Gary Barnage, eh. Jim Dre, eh. Marquise Gray, Marquise Gray eh. Okay. Uh, Our line looks okay. Okay, I mean, they're younger, so where they are weaker. I mean, they have time to get back. We have a Tabo Rubin um, and Armonte Bryant. Uh, Desmond Bryant, there we go. John Hughes. Uh, Phil Taylor, even though he's actually not that old. Uh, Roy Miller. Uh, he's a beast. Uh, Carlos Dansby, okay, I like that. Craig Robertson, Zach Dials, Chris, Chris Kirksey. All right. Uh, Jabal Sheard and Barkevius Mingo. Okay, solid linebacking core. We got Joe Hayden, and then it goes like straight. It's a straight drop off. We have Justin Gilbert, who's a rookie. We have Buster Screen, uh, Pierre Desir, uh, Aaron Barry, uh, and Leon McFadden. Free safety to Sean Gibson, who's pretty good. Strong safety is going to be Dante Hitner. Okay, he's old, so he's probably not going to be too good for us for too long. What's his What's his trucking? Forty six. Ugh. Uh, his backup is going to be Josh Aubrey, who's going to probably be his replacement next year. Billy Cundiff. And Spencer Lanning. That's going to be kind of the extent of our team. I don't really know who to start between these guys, but actually, you know what? Here. Uh, I want to get another running back on the team. Uh, let's go ahead and go. How, why can't I just sort by all? That's kind of dumb. Oh, there's a depth chart. That's not what I wanted. The hell? Now, we only have 1.8 mil when it comes to funds, so that's kind of not good. Christian Yount, okay. Uh, I'm going to cut Tyler Thigpen. 
Just not, not ideal for a quarterback. Uh, Hawkins can stay. Miles Austin's kind of older. I don't want Nate Burleson on my team, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut him. Yeah, go ahead and let's see. Uh, where's free agents? We play the Steelers week one too, so that's gonna be that's gonna definitely be a little rough for us for sure. But uh, quarterbacks, I mean, wow. Okay. All right. Gary Gilbert, bring him in. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, I'll bring in BJ Daniels because he's fast. Uh, running back Kendall Hunter. I think he was on the Niners for a little bit. Hmm. Niall Davis. He was fire. I'll bring him in. All right. This is this is like. The, this team is like dog water when it comes to just overall talent. So, uh, I mean, we're going to be playing the Steelers to start. So let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm not expecting too much out of this team. Uh, hopefully we can rebuild through the draft, get some good free agents. Even though we're a higher overall than the Steelers. It's kind of surprising, to be honest. I don't know what the difference is between these two helmets. Go ahead and ready on up. I don't understand how the Browns are overall wise better than the Steelers because they're not. But he's got Ben Roethlisberger, Antonio Brown, D'Angelo uh, Williams, fucking Mike Wallace. Uh, their their line, Le'Veon Bell. Not to mention how stacked their defense low-key is. I mean, fuck me. Why do we love football? Oh, I just realized that they're probably going to be talking, so just go ahead and bear with that for a second. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck, Larry. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to get dotted up. Yeah. Take you out to Hines Field where Jim Nance and Bill Sims have the call. All right. The are back what the, the throwback return. uniforms? Okay. And Billy Cundiff looks set All right, to cool. Kick it away. Yes, he is, actually. Um, but one thing that will make this game feel a lot nicer is if you can shut the fuck up. Uh, settings. Uh, game options. Oh. Uh, Volume control, here we go. Uh, master volume. Let's just go in game commentary and just turn that all the way down. You want to hurry up? Not uh, taking forever. All right, let's go and turn the master volume down to about 75. All right. So it looks like we're going to be kicking the ball away to start, which is whatever. Oh, it's this way to kick. I completely forgot about that. All right, our season's underway here. It's going to be Antonio Brown back there. This game feels much different than that does now. Hold on. This is louder than loud. Please forgive me. All right. Okay. I mean, it's good to just go ahead and get the... Uh, Defensive or defensive the in division uh, Game out the way. Oh tree archers. They're starting running back. What? Okay, no way Dre actually does that in real life, but he shrugs a tackle. I think he gets about five yards on the play All right, Dre archer is gonna really be a problem for us um, I completely forgot about him. He's, he's not even that good he's Not their starter is he? Oh, nice. I took that off the helmet, and I was Jabal Sheard. Uh, I was actually going to go try covering the uh, running back. I did not uh, try to 
Uh, I that was not intentional. So that is what I'm trying to say. If we can get a quick three and out here to start the season, that would be crucial. They're gonna fake the handoff here. I'm gonna smack into Ben, and he's gonna complete the the throw there, and that's gonna be more, and he's going to score. Oh boy. Just as I was saying, we could get a three and out. Uh, we do the exact opposite. Uh, we allow a touchdown. And that's going to be good. Wow. Uh, our offense is definitely not going to be able to keep up uh, with a lot of teams. This is because, I mean, with Brian Hoyer as the starting quarterback, which, I mean, he's going to be losing his job to Johnny Manziel. Hopefully he can turn his career around. Uh, or, I, well, technically speaking, his career never went south as of right now. Uh, so hopefully he can, you know, avoid that from happening. Uh, so it looks like we have Nile. Just kind of want to give him a handoff. Just that, and he's going to... He's going to get a couple yards, nothing special. Uh, definitely a good piece uh, uh, for the Chiefs offense when he played for him. Uh, in real life, so maybe we can kind of utilize him the same way. All right, second and seven. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to Nile Davis, who's going to lose those two yards that he just gained. So it's back to third and ten. Uh, this is definitely not looking too hot for us to start, uh, but hopefully we can convert on this third down. We're going to go ahead and throw it out to Josh Gordon. That's going to be way overthrown, and just like that, that's a three and out. That's really not what we want, <clears throat> wanted, uh, especially because they scored on th three plays, essentially. So, oh, that was a terrible punt. And that's going to go ahead and get out at 36. I mean, it took a decent bounce afterwards, but still not quite ideal. And pardon my sniffling. I think I have some allergies going on now. I'm not too sure, but... I do not know. I'm going to hand it off to Dre Archer here, who's going to somehow get past all those linemen. Uh, and he's going to get to the 48-yard line. He's already starting off strong against us. And that's really what we do not need right now. Uh, defense is definitely going to be a weak point of this team. Uh, I mean, well, everything's a weak point of this team, uh, to be quite honest. And that was a nice tackle right there. I believe that was Paul Kruger, and it was. So he makes a stop, and that was only a gain of a yard. That's kind of what we need. We need to provide that pressure uh, on the team uh, and just uh, like defensively, just if we can provide that pressure, then we're definitely looking a lot better. That's going to be Heath Miller, and that's going to be down to the 35-yard line. Because I haven't actually, I completely forgot about Heath Miller um, and how good he was for the Steelers. So that's definitely not going to be fun to play them twice a year. All right, so Ben Roethlisberger is going to go and throw it over to his receiver, and he's going to make a couple moves, and that's going to be another touchdown. I think that's San Antonio Holmes, and it is. Uh, we're already down by two scores. Uh, this game is a lot harder than I remember it being. That is for sure. So they already have over 100 yards passing, which is really <laughs> not good. Uh, we might see uh, Johnny Manziel early early in this game but uh, I guess we shall see huh uh, got only to the 19 yard line I think touchbacks are only to the 20 in this game so that's not the worst thing in the world so far I think we have a total of one yard on offense and that's all from this man right here Niall Davis um, and he's going to get a, a decent amount there I think about four yeah so that's going to go ahead and end this quarter uh, not really good showing for us defensively or offensively, really, outside of uh, uh, Mr. Niall Davis here, who's really kind of the one-man show with his whole five yards. I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to him here again, and he's only going to get about a yard. So uh, we really can't only have, you know, seven yards total. Um, uh, it's just really not good. Not not a good look for us, that is for sure. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass it here. We're going to throw it over to our receiver, and that's going to be Miles Austin. That's going to be a first down. That's Brian Hoyer's first completed pass of the season. Uh, this is definitely uh, 
going to be a long season if we keep up the way our offense is playing. Uh, but I, I really feel like we could capitalize a lot better than what the Browns do in real life, just because they have talent. It's just it's kind of hard to you know use said talent. Uh, and especially, I don't know why the, the play calls keep switching on me like that. Uh, it's really kind of hard to get Niles Davis going, especially because we're missing Joe Thomas, which is a huge key to our offense right now. Uh, and he's going to get stuffed again. So it's going to be really kind of hard to get him going. Uh, maybe in the pass game. And it's going to be a two-minute warning already. Holy crap. Uh, we do get the ball to start the uh, second half. So maybe if we can score, obviously a touchdown would be the best. But no. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. And looks like Brian Hoyer's down. Uh, I was going to go for it here, but I'm just going to punt it away and hope for the best. Uh, I was not really expecting Brian Hoyer to be injured in the you know, first game of the season. That's really not what I need right now. Uh, Antonio Brown takes it back a little bit. I think Antonio Brown's a rookie, or if not, he's like really young. So he's not, you know, his full... Um, Se or not full self, that's not necessarily what I'm trying to say, but he's not hes not the Antonio Brown that we're all used to, as Ben Roethlisberger is going to find his receiver here, and that's going to be San Antonio Holmes. He's going to get down to the 36-yard line, as Ben Roethlisberger is piecing us up, and he's a 92 overall in this game. Back spasms, we'll go ahead and put Manziel in for a little bit. I uh, don't want to risk that injury. Um... Which I'm totally fine with having Manzel in for a little bit. What is this? What is our D lineman doing? All right, cool. And then that's going to be caught on the sidelines as that's a tiptoe grab, but I believe that's more. Uh, I mean, they're going to review it. Please come back. That'd be really nice. And that's going to be call to catch. Oh, uh, but he's juggling the ball a little bit, maybe. It's a close call, but I think they'll I think they'll give it to him. Yep, just as I figured they'd give it to him. That was still that was a nice catch. Uh, can't really talk shit on that, but still, I'd I'd really rather us not give up those kind of plays. All right, let's move ahead and dump it off to Dre here, who's going to get uh, to the 16-yard line. I mean, I'm really surprised that they're starting Archer, unless there's, like, injuries or something that they're dealing with, but I do not know. That's a screenplay. It's a screenplay. I read that perfectly, and how is he just shrugging off tacklers like that? I don't understand that. Uh, so he's going to get down to the one-yard line. As, guys, we really need a blitz here. Just an all-out blitz. Oh, shit. And that's going to be another touchdown for the Steelers. This is really looking rough for us right now. Um, I mean, it's kind of be ex it's kind of to be expected, honestly. Um... 162 passing yards in the first half. That's uh, that's a yikes, if you ask me. Uh, we're already down 21 nothing, but I mean we have a whole half to potentially have a good comeback. But I really doubt that that'll happen. Uh, it really kind of starts with us scoring here, any kind of points. Um, but my belief in that happening is. Uh, Pretty lackluster. Let's go ahead and dump it off the Nile here. And that's going to be a yard, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and hurry up here, guys. I really like how there's not a uh, rundown, whereas, like, every play in the newer Maddens, you have a rundown. That actually makes it really nice. Go ahead and dump it off over to Hawkins there. All right. Okay. Third and four now. I mean, we're starting to find a little bit of a groove. Which I like, uh, but not quite, you know, enough to 
anything spectacular. I really wish we would hurry a little bit. All right. Nice number 25. That's going to be a first down. Call a timeout. Um, that's not really what I wanted to do. Let's go ahead and audible to Y stick here. Hopefully, Miles Austin will be uh, open over the middle, but I don't know how well that will work out. And it will work out, so that will be another first down. But we have three seconds left. I mean, it's not really, you know, that good. I mean, Hoyer's starting to find his connections, which is good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just call a Hail Mary here. I'm just going to go ahead and just launch it. And that might be picked and just, just dropped. That's fine. Uh, we do get the ball to start the second half. Um, I'm not going to throw it just because I still want to try to come back, but it's definitely going to be a hard game to come back uh, in just because uh, just with uh, the Steelers' defense being so good and on top of their offense being just ridiculously good. We have, we have the ball longer than them, which I don't understand. But we've had, we have 10 total rushing yards and 14 total passing yards. So going into the halftime, we have, uh, that's 24 total yards. That's not good. No team's ever going to win on 24 total yards, ever. And that's going to be to the 22, so that's his best return right there. Um, I definitely like to see that. Uh, passing is definitely going to be something we have to do a little bit better. Uh... I mean, running just, it doesn't look like that's going to be the name of the game right now. Go ahead and dump it off to Cameron, who's going to drop the ball. I mean, that was kind of misle misleading there. Um, so, I mean, it's just, it, really, we got to find the weak spots within the Steelers' defense, which is going to be really kind of hard for us to do. Uh, just because, I mean, at this time, they're really good. Just go ahead and dump it off to Miles Austin, who made his defender miss. That's going to be a first down. Ryan Hoyer's 5 for 8 for 35 yards. I mean, he's showing accuracy, which is something that's good. I like that. That's promise. I mean, he's only been in the league for four years. So, I mean, he's still young. So, I mean, maybe depending on how it works out, he might be our quarterback of the future. Miles Davis is still kind of struggling just overall. Um... But, I mean, maybe Hoyer's our guy. Maybe maybe Manziel's our guy. I just don't know yet. Uh, we're going to have to play that by ear. We're going to go ahead and dump it off to Josh Gordon here. He's going to get, I think, about three yards on the play. Oh, five yards. Okay. So it's third and five now. I mean, Brian Hoyer's really kind of finding his targets. He's just not getting any yards while doing it, which is kind of the important part, uh, you can say, as he's going to... He's going to try to get rid of it there. I mean, 6 for 10 for 38 yards so far. I mean, I'm really feeling like going for it here. Um, just because, I mean, we're really down. And we, I mean, I'm feeling a sense of pressure right now. I'm going to go ahead and just throw it over to Hawkins. And that's going to be caught. And that's going to be a first down. Let's go. First down. Browns. Move those chains. All right, our offense is really finding some rhythm on this drive, which I really like. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep it with Hoyer here, and that was not a good idea. We're going to lose a, a couple yards on the play. You can tell Hoyer is frustrated. I probably should have just handed it off there. Hoyer is definitely not the most athletic uh, quarterback in the world, so definitely not the smartest thing I've, I've done. Cameron's out on the middle, and he's going to make a diving catch, and they're going to give it to him. And that's going to make it third and five now. And yet again, we're looking at a third down. I mean, it's just, again, not ideal to have all these third downs, but, I mean, if we can convert on them, that's really what matters. I'm going to go ahead and throw it, and he's going to get pressured and, and hit mid-throw, so it's going to cause an incompletion. And we're already looking at yet another fourth down on this drive, this being the second one. Um, I mean, just, let's see if we can convert it here. We're going to go ahead and roll out. We're going to go ahead and throw it, and that's going to be Miles Austin, I believe. That might be Josh Gordon. No, so, sorry, that is, uh, I think that's Hawkins, and he just got absolutely laid out. And he is just, he's just done. That might be the, uh, the end of the game for him. Hopefully not. I mean, he's kind of been our leading receiver so far in this game. We're going to go ahead and hand it off to Nile Davis here. He's going to get his longest carry of the day for about five yards there, I believe. Six yards. Um, 
but I mean, I really hope we can get him back. But so now we have Lewis lining up as a receiver. It's not ideal. As Niall Davis is going to get another good carry here, and that's going to get a f uh, five yards there. So it looks like Niall Davis is struggling to get up too, as we are really struggling with some injury problems this early, uh, in, early in the game. First and 10 of the 21, our offense is really clicking. Hoyer's going to quickly fire it over the middle. Matt's going to be Josh Gordon, as that's going to be a gain of nine yards. And looks like it's just muscle cramps for Hawkins. So uh, for now, we will just uh, we'll keep Benjamin in. I uh, just don't want to run the risk of making that injury even worse than what it is. <laughs> it is uh, second and one now from the 12-yard line as we start the fourth quarter here. Uh, we're definitely moving a little bit on offense. Hoyer's going to go ahead and scramble out. He's going to go throw, in, throw it over to James Cameron, who's going to get the first down, and that's going to be a gain of five yards as we are looking at uh, already a tough schedule. And uh, Niall, da Niall Davis, I cannot speak tonight. Niall Davis is out for the rest of the game with a herniated disc, which is not something I really wanted. Uh, so it looks like Deion Lewis is going to get the share, uh, his fair share of the carries. And on his first one, he's going to get one carry for seven yards and a touchdown. That's uh, that's definitely something I like to see. Um, hopefully we can make the extra point here. Kick is up and kick is good. Um, we definitely took our time on that drive. That's something I like seeing. That's I'm okay with seeing more of. If we can see that from that level of play from our offense more often. I won't be as uh, worried. It's just we really kind of have to do that on a frequent basis. Ashley is going to get absolutely blasted at the knees. He's going to be down at the 24-yard line. Um, hopefully we can get a stop here. I mean, we need two stops, really. And, I mean, with the way their offense has been playing, I mean, that's really not necessarily going to happen. As Drew's going to get a gain of six here, and we're already looking at a second and four. Um, but yeah, our defense is really kind of having some, some hard time stopping the, the run game. I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Desir here, who's going to get more than enough for a first down, because that's going to be uh, eight yards. Is that's Presley, sorry, not Desir. I don't know where I got Desir from. Uh, but that is going to be Presley, and that's going to take us to the two-minute warning here, as I think they're going to try to run out the clock, which would be honestly a smart tactic for them. But um, we will see what they plan to do from here. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm talking too much. All right, Ross is going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off to Dre Archer here, who's going to get wrapped up in the backfield as that's going to be a loss of a yard. And the Browns will be taking a timeout. If we can get a stop here, I mean, we're looking pretty good in terms of a comeback. We just have to get a uh, touchdown and an onside kick to be looking at a... Uh, potential comeback is Archer's going to get wrapped up yet again so they're not going to call a timeout this time it looks like they're just going to let the clock run and as it looks like they're just trying to chew the clock up a little bit but we want to preserve at least one timeout here so we're going to go ahead and hand it off yet again and that's going to be Drew's going to get wrapped up in the backfield yet again as this defense is looking solid on this play or on this drive anyway which is definitely something I wish we would have seen earlier in the game but we will call our second timeout of the half and they will bring on their punt team. That was an exceptional punt by the looks of it and we're going to be looking at the 13 yard line uh, and that's going to be quite a ways we got to go to score. And we have a timeout so that's definitely good. Brian Hardy is going to take the snap here. He's going to go ahead and fire it over the middle. And that's going to be towards Josh Gordon. But that was right in the hands of Timmons. Because that was almost an interception. Brian Hoyer's first game of the season so far. I mean, he's kind of had his ups and downs for sure. So is his whole team. So we're going to go ahead and dump it off to Travis Benjamin. Who's going to get a first down and get us to the 28-yard line. He gets out of bounds too. Which is very, cre which is very crucial, very key. Um, because we need to be able to preserve some time if we want to make this comeback. Hoyer's going to go ahead and throw it on out to his receiver. That's going to be caught. That's going to be Miles Austin, who's I think that's his third catch on the day. Uh, he's been kind of he's been he's been solid for us. He's not been 
I wouldn't necessarily say a key part to this offense, but he's definitely helped out a bunch. Um, as he's going to make it a second and one now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get sacked, and that's going to force us to call a timeout here. As we're looking at a third and nine right now, this is really looking rough for us right now. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of water here. Alrighty. Brian Hardy is going to take the snap here, and he's going to go ahead and wait. He's going to throw over the middle, and he's going to get his receiver, Travis Benjamin, and that looks like that's going to be a first down. We're going to have to hurry up here as it looks like they're not going to get the first down call here, which is very which is very crucial as he's going to go ahead and try fighting Travis Benjamin, and he does just that. He's going to go down the sideline, and he's going to run out of bounds, and that's going to be out at the 34-yard line. That is a huge play by this Cleveland offense when there is almost no time left to go on the clock. First and 10 from the 34-yard line with only 12 seconds left to go. Hawkins is back in the game. Poyer's going to take the snap. He's going to throw over to Hawkins. Hawkins is going to get the pass, and he's going to run out of bounds at the 20-yard line as this Browns offense is clicking when it seems like it might be just a little too late. First and 10 now from the 20-yard line. Hoyer's going to take the snap as he's been absolutely lights out on this drive. He's going to find Josh Gordon, who's going to score a touchdown. And just like that, we are down by eight points. And with an extra point, we could be only seven points away. Kick is up, and the kick is good. And this means the Browns have to get an onside kick. Hopefully, it doesn't take that long. And then I just messed up. I messed up. Is there uh, any way I can not do that, please? All right. Well, it looks like I messed up, and it looks like that's actually just going to go ahead and be game. And unless we can get lucky here, and that's not going to happen just like that, and that is going to be game. Well, I mean, one second's left on the clock. I didn't call onside kick. That is totally my fault. Uh, the comeback was stopped then and there. And just like that, we are going to be looking at our first loss of the season, 21-14. to Comeback looked like it could have happened there for a second. Still highly unlikely. Um, I mean, the second half, I liked how our offense played. I mean, it's kind of where we got all of our points and how we played. Uh, outside of touchdowns and percentage, I mean, Hoyer got more yards than Roethlisberger. He also threw it three times as much, so I would I would assume that would be, you know, uh, he would get more yards. Hmm. So, Hoyer was solid. I mean, he didn't throw a pick, which is good. Uh, I like not seeing a turnover. Uh, rushing, I mean, uh, no, I don't want to see see that. I mean, Niall Davis is hurt. Hopefully he doesn't miss too much time. Uh, Chris Ogbonia, I mean, he got four yards. Uh, Deion Lewis with the touchdown himself. Uh, receiving, Hawkins was really solid for us. Miles Austin was also nice. Uh, Benjamin with that key catch um, towards the end of the game. Uh, Josh Gordon with his touchdown catch. Uh, I called him James Cameron, but it's Jordan Cameron. Uh, he was alright. Niall Davis with his one catch for two yards. Defensively, uh, John Gibson, Jabal Sheard, Desmond Bryant, Buster Screen, and Dante uh, Whitner were all our leading tackle, leading tacklers in this game. Uh, so with that, let's just go ahead and wrap this game up. I want to get a double header in tonight. Uh, I don't know who we play week two, uh, but we will see here in just a moment. Um, I do believe we can play the Pro Bowl in this game, which is nice. So that'll be cool to see if we can get someone in the in the Pro Bowl. Do I do I think that'll actually happen? Probably not, but it would be quite nice. Uh, week two, I think it actually said we play the Saints, which is really not much better than the Steelers. But uh, hopefully we can you know pull some some comeback. Looks like we're actually negative in funds right now, which is not ideal. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our injury report too. 
Uh, let's see here. Joe Thomas is going to be out for a while. He's a broken wrist. Uh, Reed Fragel, which is his backup, he's going to be out for six with an uh, upper arm fracture. Ben Tate, our starting running back, has a pulled groin. He's going to be out for two weeks. And Nile Davis has a ruptured disc, so he's going to be out for two weeks. Uh, great. That's exactly what I needed. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can make room for another running back because... Uh, or at least another receiver of sorts um, because we're running running backs at uh, receiver and that's just not good. Um, let's see, how fast are you, Marquise? Because I might, I might slap you over at uh, 81 speed. That's good enough. Uh, I'll go ahead and slap Marquise Gray over at receiver for a game, for a few games. Uh, I can't, so that's great. I forgot that you can't really just put them at whatever position in these games. Um... Let's see here. Uh, let's go ahead and can I put BJ on my practice squad? I can't. Let's see. Uh, left tackle. All right, left guard. Uh, do I have any third stringers? No. Any third stringers? Kitchen, eh, eh. Uh, Zach Dials, I mean, you're kind of older. I mean, yeah, sure, you're a higher overall, but that'll give uh, Kirksey some, some extra playing time if need be. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our uh, uh, free agent receivers here. I want to do a guy that's a little bit younger, not someone that's necessarily going to be uh, retiring at the end of the year. We could bring back Josh Cribbs. I mean, I know I just said I want someone uh, younger, but I mean, Josh Cribbs knows the system. I mean, he's been consistent within the, the Brown system for years by this point. Uh, let's see. I mean, he's fast. I mean, he could be really kind of exactly what we need right now let me keep looking i mean eric williams is going to be solid as well uh dominic hickson armonte edwards uh he's he's all right santana moss get that nice consistency going brandon lloyd plaxico burris uh i could go jacoby ford uh hmm I kind of want to go a younger guy. Go Ryan Broyles. He's solid. Mike Brown. Jeremy Ross. I kind of want to... Yeah, I want to go someone younger. Uh, let's see here. Bruce Ellington. I mean, he's listed as a receiver in this game, but he's actually a running back. But he's also a receiving running back, so it doesn't really matter. Uh... Jared Aberaderis. I think he played for the Packers for a little bit. Greg Salas is, is fire. I'm kind of getting low in the overalls right now. Quincy Inunua. Why is he... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign Quincy Inunua. That's for sure. Uh, okay, so I don't have money to sign a player. That's kind of a problem. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and just go depth chart. Uh, and I'm just going to put tight ends at receiver right now. Just because that's... I, I don't really have any other option. Uh, let's go... Whoops, not tight end. Receiver. Alright, well, number four is going to have to be Travis Benjamin. And why can't I... Okay. Cool. All right, well, it looks like we're just going to have to hop right into our next game, which is going to be against the Saints, who are also 0-1. Uh, hopefully our, our budget can turn around. So as of right now, we literally cannot sign another player. Uh, let's go ahead and just ready up. The uniforms are going to be asked no matter what. But, I mean, hopefully we can get, you know, our offense going. Or at the very least get a good defensive game going. But we're dealing with some injuries right now, some key injuries that are going to keep us... Keep us uh, uh, out of the competing area for a little while. Let's 
I'm going to change my lights in my room to orange. Get in the, uh, the mode. The Cleveland Browns mode. Uh, I mean, I really liked what our offense had to offer at the end of the game. Last game, I'm scoring two touchdowns. I mean, basically in one quarter. Uh, I mean, sure, one drive lasted a whole quarter, so big whoop. But technically speaking, I mean, we still scored within minutes of each other. Two touchdowns against the Steelers, so which I would say the Steelers have a better defense than the Saints for sure, but uh, I'm not too sure on that. Jimmy Graham, 8 for 22. That's not really too special. Looks like uh, we're going to be starting off with the ball, which is nice. Uh, start off, you know, just marching down the field, hopefully. And Deion Lewis is going to be our starting running back. But that's our third string running back already. Week two in the season, not ideal to be starting our week two or our third string uh, running back week two. But I mean, it is what it is. Kit and he's going to go and shrug off tackler and he's going to get to the 22 yard line. Uh, it's a good kick return to start. Um, Chew some clock. Ryan Hoyer was definitely solid for us last week. I'm not thinking about putting uh, Manzel in until we. I really see a sense of struggle from him. Lewis is going to only get two yards on that carry. Um, that is unfortunate. Uh, hopefully, our but it's looking like that might be a little while before that happens. And that's going to be a delay game on us. Exactly what I want. Um, that's going to make it uh, second and, I believe, 13. So that's definitely... That'll be nice. Alright, so it looks like Crowell is going to line up as a fullback. Very interesting. And we're going to go ahead and hand it off to Dion Lewis here, who's going to get uh, bounced off of his own uh, tight end. And that's going to be a gain of 8, though. Sorry, a gain of 10. So it's going to make it 3rd and 3. So, I mean, I the consistency in the run game always helps helps an offense out. We're going to go ahead and hand off to Deion Lewis right up the gut, and he's going to get a first down. Three rushes for 16 yards, definitely what I like seeing. Um, just seeing a nice run game developing, definitely solid. Uh, it's definitely what I want. So, once again, we're going to go ahead and hand it off to Deion Lewis here, who's going to go ahead and get a decent amount of yards, uh, about five, I think. So, it's going to be second and five now. As it's really nice seeing him kind of uh, get together a little run game going. It's Crowell is in now, who's actually a rookie and our fourth string running back. So we are really running thin on some, some running backs right now. As Crowell is only going to get a gain of about three on the play, making a third and two. Um, but Nile Davis is only out for a couple weeks, and so is Ben Tate. They'll both come back. Hopefully that will strength, strengthen our run game. Um, because being down to uh, Deion Lewis here is not ideal as he's only going to get a yard there so that's going to make it fourth and one as I'm really kind of feeling like going for it as I mean it's not necessarily desperate mode already in the season but uh, I mean definitely kind of feeling feeling that way alright we're going to go ahead and audible out of this because I'm not feeling too hot about that let the clock run down I'm kind of hesitant to give them the ball just because, I mean, I don't really trust our defense, to be 100% honest. Um, let's see here. Quick base. Hopefully, I mean, Deion Lewis has been, he's been solid for us to start. So, you know, I'm not really feeling that either. All right, go ahead and audible out of that. Go ahead and dump it off to Benjamin there, and he's going to be just short. And just like that, we're turning it over, giving the Saints really good field position. That's the risky part about that, is that uh, if you go for it and you don't get it this early and this, you know, uh, this much into their territory, that's not really looking too hot, especially because our defense really isn't all that good. Let me go ahead and dump it off to Jimmy Graham, who's going to get a gain of about four on the play, making it second and six now. Jimmy Graham's definitely going to be a threat. Um, I mean, we got to really make sure to lock him up. I mean, they still have a good, you know, Meacham, Stills, Colston are all really solid running or receivers. On top of the fact that they have a really good run game, as uh, I think this is Pierre Thomas, who's going to go ahead and get a huge gain of 28 yards. And just like that, it's first and 10 at the 11-yard line. 
Uh, the Saints team, I mean, this is one of the better Saints teams I think they've had in the past decade. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to compete. As uh, so we go ahead and sack Drew Brees, and just like that, it's second and I believe 17 now. Second, second and 16. Uh, it's definitely good to see. Ooh. Excuse me. Uh, so definitely going to... Hopefully we can stop them. They're going to go ahead and hand it off to Pierre, who's going to get wrapped up. And just like that, they're going to get only back to the yard. The line of scrimmage gaining no yards. I'm mixing up my words like crazy right now. And that's going to take us in two-minute warning. I mean, they're still in the red zone, technically speaking, but they have a lot more to go. And they can still get a first down, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Uh, but... Uh, they're going to go ahead and look for a passing option here, and they're going to get him, but they're only going to get 10 yards, so that's going to make it about third, uh, or sorry, fourth and seven, which means they're going to have to put the field goal unit out there. And as time expires on the play clock, we're going to go ahead and snap it. And the kick is up, and the kick will be good. And just like that, the Saints take a 3 nothing lead. I mean, we held them to a field goal, which is a lot better than what we could do against the Steelers. Now, we did get a stop on defense against the Steelers. That was at the latter half of the, the game, and they are also just running it, so that gets pretty predictable. As Hawkins is going to let that go, and that's going to go out at the back of the end zone. So we do, in fact, start at the 20, uh, which is good to know that we don't start at the 25, which is a new rule in the actual NFL, but uh, this was before they implemented that. So I'm going to go ahead and hand it off to Deion Lewis here, and that's going to be a gain of only two yards going to go ahead and call a timeout here. Uh, go ahead and take two clock off because that'll uh, definitely kind of put us in a bit of a pinch. Right, so Brian Hoyer is going to go ahead and take this snap here. going to go ahead and look for Benjamin over the middle and that's going to be picked off by the Saints defense and just like that he gets absolutely sandwiched. That is Bird on the play and that is not good and we really did not need to see that there. Potentially, we can get another stop here on defense and make them kick another field goal. Uh, but I mean, this is still a really good offense, so it's gonna it's gonna take a lot to contain this. Is there gonna be a fumble? We're gonna recover it, and that's gonna be Kruger on the fumble recovery. I think he even caused the fumble too. And just like that, we have the ball back. So it's back-to-back -back turnovers, uh, one by the the Saints defense and then one by the Browns defense. Hoyer's going to go ahead and take the snap here. He's going to go ahead and get sacked. And just like that, we are looking at a huge second down right now as it is second and 18. Hoyer's going to go ahead and take the snap. He's going to go ahead and dump it off to Lewis here on a screen play. He's going to have plenty of room. And just like that, he's going to get a first down. And that's going to get to the 50-yard line. And then that is uh, the longest play of the game so far for us, uh, which is definitely nice to see our uh, offense kicking up here in the last minute of the first half. Hoyer's going to go ahead and roll out to his right. He's going to go ahead and just dump it off to Benjamin here. He's going to run out of bounds, and that's going to make it a second and seven. I like what Benjamin's having to offer to our team. Uh, he's kind of stepping up when we really need him to. We're going to go ahead and throw it over the middle here, and that's going to be Cameron. And just like that, we're going to get to the 32-yard line. We're going to go ahead and call a timeout here. Uh, we have enough time for a couple plays before we really need to use that last timeout, uh, unless we can get out of bounds. So we're going to go ahead and just dump it off here, and that's going to be Hawkins who's going to get it, and he's going to get tackled just shy. Could not quite make it out of bounds. We're going to go ahead and hurry up here as Hoyer really wants to get the offense set so he can take the snap. He's going to go ahead and fake the handoff here. He's going to go ahead and throw it out wide. And that's going to be intercepted yet again. And just like that, that'll end the half. As that's going to be two interceptions now for Hoyer as this is just not his half. And it looks like the Saints are just going to go ahead and take a knee to end the half. And just like that, that'll take us to halftime. Uh, I mean, our defense has been stepping up where they weren't able to perform last week, but our offense is severely lacking. They're looking kind of like that first half. I mean, 
Hoyer's had a couple, you know, a couple picks, which, I mean, I don't really like to see that, but, I mean, it's going to happen against the state's defense, really, whether we like it or not. I mean, we have kind of overall more yards than them, which is good to see. Uh, but, I mean, still, that's that's still only about 60-some-odd yards total, which is really just not good. Uh, I mean, Hoyer's, I mean, he's connected on every pass. It's just two happen to be to the other team, which is, you know, not ideal, especially when we're trying to march down and, you know, tie up the game. And he's going to miss the tackler there, and that's going to get to the 33-yard line. And that is Cooks. And the Saints are, are already starting off with some really nice field position. First and ten for the Saints here. They're just going to go ahead and fake the handoff. As this looks like this is going to be a play, and Breeze is going to get sacked yet again. As this Browns off or this Browns defense, excuse me, is looking like it's really wanting to put some pressure on Drew Breeze. Drew Brees is going to go ahead and take the snap here. He's going to go ahead and try looking for a receiver, and he's going to find him over the middle there, and that's going to be a flag, because I believe that's going to be a face mask on us. That'll be uh, 15 extra yards on that play. And just like that, that's going to be face mask on Carlos Dansby, and that's going to get them the ball at the 44-yard line. Not what we really wanted to see. Drew Brees is going to go ahead and take the snap here. He's going to hand it off to Pierre Thomas, who's going to get the first down and then some as he gets to the 30-yard line as he's been torching this defense. It's really kind of surprising that they're not utilizing Pierre a little bit more, especially because he's been getting so many yards against us. So we see Kirksey's actually in for the uh, one of the first plays of his career as we're going to go ahead and watch Pierre Thomas absolutely demolish us as he's going to get 14 more yards uh, and which is going to be a first down. It's going to be first and 10 here from the 16 yard line. So they're already in the red zone and they are marching with some authority here as that is going to be incomplete. That's going to be Drew Brees' first incomplete passes. It is now second and 10 at the 16 yard line. Go ahead and hand it off here to, to Mark Ingram as that's going to be uh, really hard to take him down for whatever reason. That's going to be a gain of five yards, which is going to make it third and five. You almost wonder if that's going to make it a passing down or a running down here. Do they, do they run the ball and see if they can get the first down? And uh, if not, I mean, they can kick a field goal, or do you think they're going to pass it? I mean, honestly, I would say run it here. That's been the most effective, and they're going to pass it to Thomas, who's going to shrug off a tackler. He's going to put himself in the end zone, and just like that, we are down by two scores. Pierre Thomas is 100% the reason why we are losing this game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just unacceptable how our defense has been playing. I mean, there's not really much we can do. Because, I mean, this is a high-powered offense, but, I mean, seeing us get some pressure on Drew Brees is definitely nice. It uh, definitely gives me some hope for later on in the season. It's going to be first and ten now here. Brian Hart is going to take the snap. He's going to hand it off to Deion Lewis. He's only going to get a gain of a couple. He started off hot, but he really kind of has not been able to pick it up ever since. It looks like they really want us to run it. I don't think that's smart to do right now. Uh, that is because we just need to march down the field and put some sort of points on the board. Hoyer's going to go ahead and take the snap here. He's going to go ahead and throw it over the middle. And that's going to be Miles Austin with his first catch of the day, I believe. And just like that, we're looking at a first down at the 32-yard line. First and 10 now at the 32-yard line. Third quarter looks like it's going to come down to an end here pretty soon. You can go ahead and throw it to Josh Gordon, who's going to make the catch, and that's going to be a gain of about seven yards. Second and four now, as this looks like this will be the final play of the third quarter. We can get the snap off, which it doesn't look like we will, which is not necessarily what we wanted to see, but... 
Uh, it's going to be the start of the fourth quarter now. We're down by 10 points. Uh, I mean, we put 14 up on the fourth quarter last game, so maybe we can do the same for the win here. As we're going to get a nice block, because that's going to be Deion Lewis who's going to get us into Saints territory. And just like that, I mean, we're marching again. This is looking awfully familiar as to how we played last game. Um, so maybe, just maybe, we can do the same. Hoyer's going to take the snap here. He's going to go ahead and throw it over to Cameron. And he's going to miss his mark completely. That's going to be his first true incompletion that hits the ground. Which is kind of impressive that every one of his passes has been in the hands of somebody. I mean, yeah, it shouldn't be the other team. But, I mean, there's not really much we can do about it now. Uh, but that is his first incomplete pass that hit the ground. As Hawkins is going to get it. And that's going to be a first down. He's going to run out of bounds. We've got to preserve those timeouts. That's definitely a uh, key part to this drive right now. If we, can save, if we can save those timeouts, we're looking really good um, because they're likely just going to keep running the ball. As we're going to go ahead and throw it over to Cameron. As that's almost picked off and almost caught by Josh Gordon. As if they would have picked that off, that would have been really hard for us to come back from. All right, second and 10 from the 28-yard line here. Uh, I mean, we're marching down the field pretty efficiently. We're going to go ahead and throw it over the middle to Josh Gordon, who's going to make the catch. He's going to make a defender miss. He's going to get down into the 10-yard line. And just like that, we are looking at really good field position right now. First and 10 from the 10-yard line. We're going to go ahead and hand the ball off to Deion Lewis here, who's going to get only a gain of one yard. As yet again, I mean, geez, Deion Lewis cannot find anything. Uh, just in the way of production on the ground game. And he's been really solid for us in, uh, when it comes to receiving the ball, but just running it has just been atrocious on his end. We're going to go ahead and throw it out to Travis Benjamin, and that's going to be a touchdown. And just like that, right now we're down by four, pending the extra point. Kick is up, and the kick will be good. And just like that, we're down by three points. And we have three timeouts and the two-minute warning. So that is definitely looking good for us. We got to get good stops. We got to get pressure on that run game because they're definitely going to want to run it a decent amount. As we're going to go ahead and take it out here, and that's going to give them a really good field position. As you like, we can give up a field goal if need be, but that will not be ideal. As Drew Brees is going to go right under center, and Pierre Thomas is in the backfield, and that gives me a good hunch that it's going to be a run play. It's not, actually. We're going to go ahead and dump it off to the fullback right over the middle. He's just marching his way through traffic right now, and that's going to be a huge first down for the Saints offense. And just like that, that's going to take us to the two-minute warning, and we really got to get some stops here. All right, first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Drew Brees is going to go ahead and take the snap here, and he's going to hand it off to Pierre Thomas, who's going to get a first down, and then some is, we're going to try to stop him. And he most, most definitely stepped out of bounds there, but the refs did not call it. And just like that, the Saints are going to score a touchdown here, and I actually want to challenge that. I can't because it's within the two-minute warning, and they're not going to challenge it, so that does not look too good for us as that is going to be now a 10-point game once again for us as what we have to do is just go down, score a touchdown without using any of our timeouts and just get a stop. Hawkins can go ahead and take the ball here. He's going to go ahead and get us to the 24-yard line. Uh, I mean, best thing we can do is I just really think dump off passes and run out of bounds. I mean, that's, that's what worked for us before. Like a, that'll still work for us. I mean, let's see if I can get a screen play maybe. Uh, it seems to be really working for us. Uh, let's go recent plays. It'll definitely be in there. Which be screen slip. That's where Deion Lewis has really been the most productive for us ever since that first quarter. There's just these little screen plays. Just go ahead and dump it off to here. Get some good blocking. And just like that, it's going to be a first down and run out of bounds. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. Because they have really no answer for that play. I think it's a little bit cheesy, but I mean... If it works, it works. All right, so yet again, we're looking at a first and 10 here at the 37-yard line. Still uh, still got all of our timeouts. We just got to make sure that we 
Uh, continue going out of bounds, and that's definitely not going to happen here as Hoyer just got it away in time. So that way it is now second and ten, and the clock will not be running. And we can't really just be, you know, dinking and dunking for five, six yards here, uh, five yards there. So that's going to be Hawkins who's going to make the catch. He's going to go out of bounds. And that's going to be a huge first down as Hawkins is stepping up big time. I don't know why they're necessarily recommending running plays here, but I mean, you do you, Madden. All right, it's going to be first and ten here. As Hoyer's going to roll out to the right, he's going to have his tight end wide open. And that's going to be Gary Barnridge who's going to get us into the twenty-yard line, and just like that, we are marching down the field as we are not giving up quite yet. Hoyer's having yet another solid day, minus those two picks. Uh, he's definitely showing that he could definitely lead this team if he really wanted to. So he's going to go ahead and dump it off to Hawkins. He's going to get out of bounds. It's good to see that we can get out of bounds consistently uh, and make sure that we can get those uh, uh, those timeouts saved. All right, we are in the red zone officially now as hopefully we can... Uh, uh, only take a couple more seconds off the clock to score here. So we're going to go ahead and throw it over to James Cameron, or sorry, Jordan Cameron. That'll still be a first down for 11 yards. And he's going to get out at the six yard line yet again, saving us some time. This is going to be first and goal here. Now we're going to go ahead and hand the ball off here to uh, Dion Lewis. And that's not what we needed as he doesn't get a single yard out of that. And we are looking at a uh, second and goal now. Let's go ahead and call a screenplay here. Maybe that'll work. Go ahead and just dump it off, and we barely get it off in the nick of time. Uh, I mean, really, even a field goal here could work, but, I mean, preferably two touchdowns to win would be nice. Um, third and goal from the sixth. We're going to go ahead and take a snap. We're going to throw it over the middle. That is almost picked off, and I really think it's probably just smart to go for a field goal here exactly and just kind of... Uh, give them the ball back and then try scoring a touchdown. Uh, so we march down pretty efficiently uh, without timeouts, which makes me excited to see that out of our offense. Uh, but now we got to rely all of our trust in our defense. Kind of with the kickoff here, and that's not going to go to the back of the end zone, so this is going to definitely take some seconds off. And just like that, going to shrug a tackler off, and that's going to get to the 37-yard line. And I don't see them doing anything but running the ball here. Uh, it would make no sense for them to pass. Uh, but hopefully we can get some stops. we got to get three three consecutive stops. And just like that, that's a good way to start. And that's going to get a gain of two, it looks like. Uh, they're going to call it a gain of one. Uh, but it is now second and nine. If we can keep getting stops like that, that's definitely what we need to see. Um, that will definitely make our life a hell of a lot easier. As it looks like Ingram's going to be in now. They're going to hand it off to him, and he's going to get stuffed. And just like that, that's going to be, I think, a loss of a yard. Actually, sorry, they're saying a gain of a yard. Uh, so it's now third and eight. So that's exactly what we need right now, is just calling those timeouts, getting those stops. This looks like Pierre Thomas is back in. And they're going to go ahead and hand it off to him. And they're going to make the tackle, and just like that, that's going to get back to the line of scrimmage, and we're going to use our last timeout and we have 36 seconds to go down and score seven points to put this game into overtime. We really can't waste no time at all. And we're just going to go ahead and let, th let this one go. And that's going to bounce out. And that's going to give us a touchback. I really thought that was going to go out at the one. But thankfully, it did not. Brian Hoyer really looked solid on that last drive. Uh, which is definitely uh, what I want to see. Uh, it's first and ten now. We're going to go ahead and throw it on out to our receiver here. That's going to be Josh Gordon, who's not going to get out of bounds. We're going to have to hurry up here, and uh, hopefully we can get the ball off in time and get out of bounds. We're going to go ahead and throw it on out to Benjamin, and that's going to be an incomplete pass, which is not ideal, but it stops the clock regardless, which is what we need. Uh, let's go ahead and go, just going to call a cheesy little screenplay here, and then just to hopefully get as many yards as possible and then run out of bounds. And then really, we're looking at a Hail Mary from there. All right, and we're going to get sacked, and that might just do it right there. 
because we're going to have to really hurry it up here. Come on, guys, hurry up, and Gordon's not going to get back in time. And just like that, that is yet another heartbreaking loss to, our, uh, to start our season. Starting off 0-2 is really just not what I like to see. But, I mean, we're competing at that last moment, which, I mean, is good. But, I mean, I'd like to see us compete throughout the whole game, really. Um, but, I mean... Hoyer yet again, 17 from 25, pretty similar to what he did last game, 197 yards, a touchdown, two interceptions, so he's even on that uh, category. Um, about the same average per attempt. Rushing, I mean, we really kind of didn't step it up here with, with our run game. I mean, Deion Lewis, 28 yards. Uh, I mean, Crowell had his one yard, or his one carry for three yards. Uh, receiving Hawkins really stepped it up for us. Deion Lewis also was key. Uh, Benjamin did his thing. He got that touchdown for us. Josh Gordon, you know, same. Cameron was all right. Gary Barnage had that huge catch. And Miles Austin only had one catch for nine yards. Um, with that being said, that's going to go ahead and conclude this episode. I'll go ahead and finish out this game. Uh, next week, we are taking on the Ravens. Um, uh, so hopefully uh, we can get our first win. I mean, that's another divisional opponent. Uh, and they're still, again, a solid team with a good running back, uh, which seems to be kind of our weakness right now. Um, and we get a bye week. So hopefully uh, we can capitalize off that bye week because that's when all of our, our running backs come back. So hopefully we can use that and drop a scheme. It looks like we actually uh, got some fun. So real quick, while I still have money, I'm going to go ahead and go sign... Um, I'm going to go ahead and go sign somebody because we really need it right now. Uh, it's I almost don't think we need a receiver right now. Uh, I think we need someone on defense to help stop the run. So let's go ahead and look at a uh, maybe a left end. Uh, DT. Right in. I mean, not really many people. I mean, could we put maybe a left outside linebacker on the edge? James Harrison, not really key are not really, you know, going to help us too much. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot of older guys. Um, we've got Ed Reed. I don't really know that a lot of these guys are going to help all that much. Um, I mean, receiver, I mean, we can go ahead and sign Josh Cribbs back uh, and have him kind of be, you know, guy that catches maybe one or twice a game. I mean, LeVon Brazil looks like he could be really solid for us, though. Potentially. He's got okay route running. He's not that fast in terms of, like, compared to Jacoby Ford. Um, I mean, he's younger. He's 25, which is really nice. Um, let's go ahead and sort by age. I mean, we have Robert Heron, uh, Brandon Coleman... Oh, Brandon Coleman, uh, Josh Huff, Quincy and Nunwa, they're all 22. So let's see who's the fastest out of these guys. We need guys with speed. It's going to be Robert Heron uh, with 96 speed. Holy moly. Yeah, let's go ahead and sign Robert Heron. He'll definitely uh, find his way into some some sort of role on our team for sure. Um, it looks like we're still at... 2.02 billion. .02 but, uh, I mean, we're still, we still got these guys. Um, hopefully we can get them back. Niall Davis didn't really press too much against the Steelers, but I mean, hey, you never know. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our season stats. Uh, Brian Hoyer with 374 yards passing over two games. Not that impressive. Two yard, or two touchdowns, two interceptions. Eh, not, I'm not, too keen on that, but I mean, hey, uh, I mean, he's still showing some promise. I mean, he's still showing consistency in the fourth quarter, uh, being able to march down the field, which is really what we need. Deion Lewis is our leading rusher right now. Uh, 10 carries for 35 yards, uh, 3.5 carry. Um, Niall Davis might come back, um, but I'm also looking forward to Ben Tate coming back. Excuse me. Uh, and then he'll definitely help out a lot. We have Andrew Hawkins, uh, Josh Gordon doing their thing, both with 74 yards and 63. Travis Benjamin having 65. Miles Austin with 47. 
Um, James Cameron with 40, Deion Lewis with 58 yards, Barnridge with 25, Now Davis with his one catch for two yards. Um, Robert Heron, I don't know how I'm going to fit him into the scheme necessarily, um, but I mean he's fast, he can catch. Uh, I mean honestly, just kind of getting him in, in those screen plays would be really nice. I mean. So it looks like we have the best defense, which is kind of ironic, uh, and then one of the worst offenses so far. So that's not the best. We're playing the 2-0 Ravens right now. So I don't necessarily know that we're going to be able to compete in that game, but it's going to be an interesting one to see for sure. So I mean, we, we're putting up a fight in our games. So that makes me that makes me that makes me happy. And this is definitely a step down in competition compared to the Steelers and uh, Saints. So. Um, it'll definitely be interesting to see how this happens or how we how we do. Uh, but with that being said, I will catch you in the next episode.